Hey folks, grab a seat and get ready. Today we're delving deep into this economic phenomenon that has shaped the fortunes of nations around the globe. We will uncover the raw truth behind Dutch disease and its impact on countries. We will also look into the challenges that lie in front of these countries and uncover what the future holds for them. Let's dive in. Dutch disease is not your typical ailment. It's an economic curse that afflicts countries blessed with abundant natural resources. You see, when a nation strikes gold, oil, or any valuable resource, it's like hitting the jackpot, right? Well, hold on. The curse lies in the unexpected consequences that follow. Picture this: a country strikes oil and starts exporting it, bringing in massive revenues. Sounds great, doesn't it? But here's the catch: as the exports soar, the country's currency strengthens. That may sound like a good thing, but it's a double-edged sword. The history of Dutch disease dates back to the 1960s, when the Netherlands, a country known for its vast natural gas reserves, experienced a peculiar economic phenomenon. The term Dutch disease was coined by the Economist magazine in 1977 to describe the unexpected consequences of the Netherlands' newfound wealth. During that time, the discovery and subsequent extraction of natural gas in the Groningen field. Led to a significant increase in the country's export earnings. This influx of revenue caused the Dutch guilder, the national currency at the time, to appreciate rapidly against other currencies. The surge in currency value makes imports cheaper and hurts the competitiveness of other sectors like manufacturing and agriculture. As a result, the prices of Dutch goods and services became relatively more expensive in comparison to foreign counterparts. The appreciation of the currency had a detrimental impact on the other sectors. Particularly manufacturing and agriculture, Dutch exports in these industries became less competitive in the global market, leading to a decline in production and job losses. The manufacturing sector, which was once a driving force of the Dutch economy, began to shrink. The term Dutch disease was coined to draw a parallel between the Netherlands' experience and the challenges faced by other countries rich in natural resources. The concept gained traction as similar patterns were observed in nations like Venezuela, Nigeria, and Russia, among others. Venezuela, for example, experienced a boom in its oil industry, with oil exports becoming a significant source of revenue. However, the heavy dependence on oil led to neglect of other sectors of the economy. As oil prices fluctuated, the country's currency value became volatile, causing inflation and economic instability. Nigeria, another country rich in oil reserves, faced similar challenges. Despite its vast natural resources, the over-reliance on oil led to neglect of other sectors such as agriculture and manufacturing. This dependence hindered the country's economic diversification and left it vulnerable to fluctuations in global oil prices. On the other hand, countries like Norway, Canada, and Australia managed to navigate the Dutch disease curse successfully. They implemented strategies to mitigate the adverse effects and promote economic diversification. Norway, in particular, established a sovereign wealth fund to invest its oil revenues and ensure long-term economic stability. These examples highlight the importance of proactive policies and prudent resource management in combating Dutch disease. Overcoming this economic phenomenon requires a delicate balance between harnessing the benefits of natural resource wealth and diversifying the economy to promote sustainable growth. The history of Dutch disease serves as a valuable lesson for nations worldwide, emphasizing the need for prudent economic management, diversification, and long-term planning. By learning from the experiences of countries that have been impacted by Dutch disease, governments and policymakers can make informed decisions to mitigate its effects and build resilient economies. Now, the question lies: What is the future of these countries? Will they ever be out of it? The answer is yes. They are already in the race. In the case of the Netherlands, the country has made significant progress in diversifying its economy and reducing its dependence on natural gas exports. Recognizing the limitations of relying solely on a single resource, the Dutch government has implemented policies to promote innovation, invest in research and development, and nurture other sectors of the economy. These efforts have contributed to the growth of industries such as technology, renewable energy, and creative services. By fostering a culture of entrepreneurship and supporting small and medium-sized enterprises, the Netherlands aims to build a more balanced and sustainable economy. Nigeria, on the other hand, faces greater challenges in overcoming the impact of Dutch disease. The country's heavy reliance on oil exports has hindered economic diversification and exposed it to the volatility of global oil prices. However, Nigeria has recognized the need for economic reforms and has taken steps to promote diversification. 
initiatives such as the Economic Recovery and Growth Plan, ERDPAM, EDGEPAM to diversify the economy by focusing on sectors such as agriculture, manufacturing, solid minerals and services, the development of infrastructure, investment in education and skills training, and the creation of an enabling business environment are also crucial for Nigeria's future economic growth. Surviving Dutch disease isn't easy. It requires strategic planning, forward, thinking policies, and a commitment to diversify the economy. These countries have realized that relying solely on resource exports is a risky gamble. They've made conscious efforts to develop other sectors, nurture human capital, and invest in research and development. The fight against Dutch disease is ongoing, my friends. It's a reminder that resource abundance can be both a blessing and a curse. It's not about rejecting resources. It's about using them wisely, diversifying the economy, and investing in the future. There you have it, the gritty truth about Dutch disease. It's a complex issue that affects nations in different ways. As we continue to navigate this economic landscape, let's strive for balance, innovation, and resilience. By learning from the experiences of those impacted by Dutch disease, we can build a brighter future for all. Thank you for joining me on this enlightening exploration. Remember to subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and stay tuned for more insightful content. Until next time, keep questioning, keep seeking, and together, let's illuminate the path to prosperity.